Welcome back to another quick installment of Julian's Random Projects. And I say quick because I have to turn off the air conditioner every time I talk to you guys. And it's like 111 degrees today here in Texas. Granted, the sun has gone down or at least gone to a different part of the planet to scorch those folks. And for now, we have a reprieve at night, but still, it's hot. I just wanted to quickly cover this. Uh, it's a recent pickup. I've been getting into kiosks a bit because I think they're fun. I think they're a bit of our history as far as gaming goes. And maybe half or more are uh, destroyed. They are sent to landfills uh, or broken up in pieces and uh, put into a dumpster and then eventually a landfill. So it's not like someone in a landfill is going to see this thing like, you know, monolithically poking out of a heap or something and they're, hey, that looks cool. Uh, that's rare. Uh, every once in a while, you'll see one at the back of a game store and it might be back there because the employee plans on scarfing it up as soon as the sh their shift's over, but you beat them to it. Um, or sometimes the employee has a cool manager and they let them take it home uh, or turn a blind eye to the fact that they were supposed to destroy it, but they weren't paying attention and, and it went somewhere. So <laughs> life happens, right? And these things sneak out in the same way that prototypes and dev kits and the, all that stuff sneaks out. And the PS4s, I think, I don't, I mean, they must be, have been end of life recently where uh, Sony said, we want to put in the PS5 displays. We want to, uh, you know, get it going again. And so this has got to go. And it had to have been recent enough. Um, it's July now. And so this one has a date here for 2022 for pre-orders for February. Um, and then an, another one here for graduation with seven coming out in March. So, you know, it's probably sometime shortly after that is when this thing uh, walked out of its respective game store. So let's pop it open and see, and see what we're dealing with here. The units came with a dummy PS4. So whether it's for theft protection or maybe the way that this thing was designed, they knew that they wanted to show it off, but there was heat requirements or, you know, there's re restraints on the hardware to be uh, put inside of a Lexan box, probably not best for heat dissipation. So uh, this one is just a faux one and, um, Later, I'll be taking the sticker off. Heck, maybe in, in this video, so <laughs> stick around for that. Um, but right now, it's protecting the plastics, and, and, and I'm still kind of looking it over. Uh, a lot of them don't come with their screens. Can you guys see? Yeah, you're still in frame. So a lot of them that I've seen pop up online don't come with this uh, camera setup or the actual Sony-branded Bravia screen, uh, which is like a semi-smart television uh, from what I've seen in some other people's um, scores of these that had the screen. It's like got some basic things like load a USB stick. It's got a bunch of stuff I noticed in the back. I transported this separately from the main body when I picked it up. I, I knew that if I got, um, of course we, you know, we do our best to protect it with like a tarp or something, but I knew that if I got caught in a rainstorm, I didn't want this thing in the back, just, you know, bouncing around and getting splashed on and wet, even if it had a tarp on it. So uh, luckily this thing comes off. There is a little set screw here. These things are so big, you guys are getting kind of like a behind the scenes. <laughs> you know, what does the uh, the home office look like? It's a oddly shaped mother-in-law unit that got converted to my office. Um, also, I noticed that this, this is per Sony, to, you know, to cover up these things, keep kids from touching them and messing with the thing. Uh, just kind of hide your crimes. I don't even own a PS4, I'm gonna have to get one just for this setup because it does not have its original one. Uh, but to take a look at some of the uh, connections it's got back here. Can you guys see those? Yeah. Uh, it's got a component, it's got a LAN connection, probably has Wi-Fi if I had to guess. Optical in, uh, and your standard uh, composite in. It's got two HDMIs um, and an antenna input. If that antenna works, that'd be super cool. It would make you this thing more useful. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about doing is getting just a Raspberry Pi and running kind of a demo loop on this thing for the time being. Um, but I wanted to get off this, get this off and see what our power situation is looking like. It wants 19 volts DC <laughs> and audio out. Okay. Uh, I guess if it's not a, um, it's not a laptop monitor. It's obviously a television because it's got the analog in. Um, I'm not sure if that's normal for Bravia's or um, if that's because this thing is a display unit. But let me go see if I've got that 19 volt thing hiding in the uh, the gubbins of this thing, or um, heck, I might have one out in the garage. So. Because, like you, I don't throw away power supplies. I keep all of them. 
Oh, good lord. We are running low on SD card space. That just means I've got to pick up the pace. Lucky for me, it came with the key, which is great. It's not seating properly. I think that this might have gotten damaged um, in transport. You saw the controller. Yeah, the controller's captive. Obviously, they don't want you know, kids running off of this thing. Um, and it's, you can pull it out and play with it, but it also feels spring loaded, and that's because it is. Uh, and here, you've got it uh, held captive so that when you pull it out, it retracts it back and puts it. So I'll have to adjust that. I just did this temporarily uh, to keep it up out of the way. Um, I had to pull it all out to transport it. Um, if you were picking up one of these, just like cabinets on a desk of drawers, you know, dr um, desk drawers, these things have little plastic clips and you can, you can defeat those clips. Here we go. You defeat the, one of those on each side and this whole cabinet will slide off and you can transport it that way. It's like one, uh, one more piece of plastic that can go in the car versus riding in the back, uh, in the breeze. Oh, and I see a power supply hiding down there. Let's go see what that is. 9245. All right, let's plug it in. Whew. <laughs> it's definitely dusty. I'm not going to be cleaning it up today. We're just going to try and get it booted up and we'll see what we can see. Uh, but boy, it is dusty. That's like 24-7 probably being on uh, in a store <laughs> for years. Oh, so it's just not pinched on anything. Oh yeah. Velcro down at the bottom. So, so dude, Velcro. God bless the uh, the folks that invented that. That little strip of Velcro is the only thing that kept this thing captive with this. That's, this is the first thing that gets lost in a, in a retail situation. So, let's see. That's what I was talking about. There you go, look at that. You got your HDMI selections. Oh, screen mirroring, very nice. All right, so the display works, that's awesome. We'll get something piped into it uh, in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed a uh, quick peek into a kiosk Next steps is to get this thing completely cleaned up and install a maybe a scratch and dent model PS4 because I'm cheap and uh, trying not to put a ton of money into something like this. Um, but I'd really love to have it have demo software. So I'm gonna go look around for that and see if there's maybe an image or someone's done a NAND dumped of the original console that was in there. That would be awesome. Uh, but if you guys want to see that in a part two, let me know down in the comments and we'll get that put together as soon as possible. We'll also be doing some other kiosk related stuff, so make sure you guys get subscribed. Poor black man ain't got changing clothes. Girl got drunk, clothes I don't. Poor black man ain't got changing clothes. Girl, I got drunk, don't unclose our doors.